Hi, this is Thresden, and this is part seven of an Elder Scrolls Online High Isle walkthrough. You may notice the uh, the graphics look a little different this time. I'm going to do an experiment. I'm going to play on Stadia and see if the video turns out better. So let me know if you think it looks better on Stadia versus uh, actually running the game on my computer or vice versa. Let me know in the comments. Uh, where we last, last left off, we needed to go to Monument Inn because we've got to find some way to end the curse and we've got to learn about this uh, fleet that the All Flags Islet was meant to commemorate. So I'm going to go ahead and head to Monument Inn. We didn't have to fight our way there. That's good. Ah, I remember this place. Jan and I shared many pleasant encounters beneath this roof before I set sail with the fleet. Oh, no, sir. Absolutely not. <sighs> Lady Jan seems to think one of us is someone untoward. Talk to her, my friend. <gasps> is that my scrumptious little turtle dove I see? Lady Laurent, is that you? Yes, I'm Lady Laurent. And enough with the sweet nothings. You, talk to Jan and see if you can determine how this curse started. Maybe then we can figure out how to end it. I'm having my own problems, as you can plainly see. Uh, if you're wondering what's going on if you didn't see the last episode, she's being possessed by this girl's boyfriend. Jan's ghost implies that one of us has done her some wrong. Why don't you talk to her and see if this is another replication of a past event? Perhaps we'll learn something new. Just remember to play along so as not to shatter the illusion. All right. Hey oh, you, I don't everything need to all talk right? To Amber. No, Tobin, you cannot offer me a drink, and I have absolutely no intention of dancing with you. Um, all right. I'm here with my captain. And I have no patience for the advances of his foolish younger brother. Away with you, foul sir. Um, all right. Jan is mine, little brother. Go play with your hammer and chisels. My sweet deserves a night to remember before I set sail from Port Sargo. A night to remember? But, but, but anyway, but, but Port Sargo. That's the old dock on the eastern shore of this very islet. Is that where we're going next, Evans? character is not happy about that. Port Sargo is located on the eastern shore of the All Flag. Okay, but I want to see what's upstairs. What's upstairs? Absolutely nothing. Okay. I will go to your Port Sargo then. Oh, you want to fight too? The ruins of Port Sargo. Somewhat disconcerting, as long deserted places tend to be. But there's a plaque. See what it says. Okay. The All Flags Navy started here. The All Flags Navy started here. 
as the first ships arrived to help protect the island while the infrastructure was under construction. Before the shipyards could turn out new vessels, the peoples of Tamriel sent their best ships to patrol the waters around High Isle. They were ships of the line from established navies, merchant vessels, freebooters, and mercenaries, all ready to defend the effort and eventually take the war directly to the Slough. These were the initial 14 ships that arrived to form the basis of the All Flags Navy. Long may they be remembered. The relentless Colovian Baron Admiral Bindu Olo, Anvil Song, Colovian, Baron Captain Nolus Fulvius, the Ruby Trident, Colovian, Captain Hadaris, Hadaris Viria, the King's Jest, Breton, Captain Lisolda Duvaux, the Pristine Halbert, Breton, Captain Scratched Out, Onsi's Oath, Red Guard, Captain Afsara, Kahothada Elf, Captain Simuborn, Oadian Elf, Captain Linowen, the Wind Like Anger, Argonian, Captain Hunalin, Moon Chaser, Khajiit, Captain Kalgnar, Wandering Albatross, Knightly Order, Captain Lord Nepas Lan, the Silver Lantern, Merchant Ship, Coin Baron Nimic Santer, the Black Gull, Freebooter, Captain Shoshara, the Jolly Goblin, Freebooter, Captain Gurguzal. Hmm, the pristine halberd. The captain's name has been scratched off the plaques on the pedestal and on the wall. Here to see me off, little brother? How touching. Baron Admiral Bendu, my vessel is ready to sail as soon as you give the word. Baron Admiral Bendu Olo was in charge of the All Flags Navy. Pretend to be the Admiral, and perhaps the captain will reveal his name. All right, what's this? Maybe my guildie finished a trial or something? Yeah, Dragon Star Arena. Baron Admiral, after years of preparation, we're finally ready to show those slug bastards what for. My ship was one of the first to join the fleet, and today it's ready. Give the word and we'll set sail on the next wave. Uh, remind me, Captain, which vessel is yours again? Why, just the finest warship ever to set sail from High Rock. Surely you remember the name of... of... Uh, By any chance, is your ship the Pristine Halberd? Why, yes, of course! The Pristine Halberd! The pride of the Breton fleet. We've helped protect this rock during the long years of build-up. Now we're ready to be the instrument of vengeance, just as you planned. Ah, yes, a fine ship. Um, and remind me, who is the captain of the Pristine Halberd? The captain? Why, I am the captain! Yes, yes, but tell me your name, captain. My name? Why, I'm... I'm... Captain? Renwick Moorcroft! Captain of the Pristine Halberd and proud member of the All Flags Navy. So you're Captain Renwick Moorcroft? Uh, out! <sighs> no, I'm Lady Laurent. He's Captain Renwick. But why haven't you broken this curse yet? I'm not sure how much longer I can fight off the captain. Talk to Stibbins and end this already! Captain Renwick Moorcroft, my beloved's true name. You must add my beloved's name to the main garden monument before we forget it again. Okay. That's I knew not this going to happen. Uh -oh. Only the hammer and chisels of I, Tobin <laughs> Moorcroft, can carve those tablets. I hid them where they will never be found. Oh my god, it's just getting weirder and weirder as time goes on. I knew this curse was all Tobin's fault. That little monster was always jealous of my captain and the love we shared. My big brother, so proud, so famous, but not anymore. I made sure he'll never be remembered. Stibbins? That's not you, is it? Stibbins? What a ridiculous name. I'm Tobin Moorcroft, master builder of the All Flags Navy Monuments. My work, unlike my brother's, will be remembered forever. Right, right. So you built all of this? Everything on Monument Islet. Well, I had help. Apprentices, assistants, laborers. But the design and the fine detail work? That's all mine. Impressive. 
and you carved the plaques with a hammer and chisel? The finest hammer and chisel in the world. I paid a small fortune for the enchantments, but you'll never discover where I hid... Where did you hide your hammer and chisel? Out, you vile creature! Never fear, I'm myself again. And better yet, I know where this Tobin hid his tools. I saw it while he was inside my head. To the graveyard, my friend! Okay, he hid his tools in the graveyard. change the hotkey to uh, my mouse button. I was trying to use my ultimate and on my other characters I used the middle mouse button on my mouse to do an ultimate. It's so easy to accidentally trigger your ultimate when you don't want to when it's uh, on R. Should be somewhere around here. Gravestone? That's what I saw in Tobin's mind. Dig there. No, not my Doing tools. Something with magic Dig somewhere here? else. Tobin Moorcroft's tools. A fine hammer and collection of chisels for detailed carving. You have the tools? Quickly, carve my beloved's name into the plaque at the memorial garden. Once his name is added to the central monument, we will never forget him again. A dedication ceremony? For me? How exciting! Captain Renwick Moorcroft of the Pristine Halberd. Place my beloved's name where it belongs. Oh, you do it, friend. My hands are shaking. I'm so nervous. Well done, my turtle dove. You saved my memory. Now we can be together for all eternity. I did have a little help, Renwick, my love. Now come, my darling. We have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> <laughs> my big brother, the famous sea captain, wins again. How typical. All right, let's look Stibbons. at this. Why do I think this was somehow your fault? <laughs> oh, never mind. You, come talk to me. Okay, I want to read this plaque first. In memory of the brave souls. In memory of the brave souls who served as part of the All Flags Navy and lost their lives defending the people of Tamriel. A list of ships, their captains, and their crews follow. The pristine Halberd and Captain Renwick Moorcroft are now part of that list. You feeling better, Stibbins? Uh, did it work? Did we break the curse? We did. Lady Laurent sounds like her old self. Yeah, but... she does. You talk to her. I couldn't take it if that foul captain's voice came out of her perfect mouth again. <laughs> did that really happen? Did I have the spirit of some ancient All Flags Navy captain residing inside my head? My memory is all a jumble. Yes, but Stibbins and I ended the curse. How do you feel now? How do I feel? Like some virile man was stomping around inside my body with his oversized boots and manly urges. It was unsettling. And, if I'm being totally honest, somewhat arousing. Arousing? Oh, never mind that. <laughs> my manservant wants a word with you. But please hurry. I have a task for Stibbins that needs to be dealt with post-haste. Oh, thank you, my friend. I never would have been able to save Lady Laurent without your help. 
Do you think the curse is really broken? Oh, yes. Of course, the effects may linger for a time, but the worst of it is over. And we righted a wrong of history. Captain Renwick Moorcroft's role in the All Flags Navy has been restored. Uh, but how is Lady Laurent? Is she all right? I think so. She said she had a task for you. It seemed rather urgent. An urgent task? Oh, well, nothing ever changes. But I live to serve. Here, my annual stipend, just as I promised. Thanks again for saving Lady Laurent, ending the curse, and restoring a piece of the archipelago's history. Now I must see to me, lady. Your annual stipend is 664 gold? That's it? Uh, we got Ring of the Ancient Mariner. Um, this kind of looks like a kind of a tanky set. Is this, uh... Um, okay, so I'm not sure if I want to use that or not. You, my friend, are a... You, my friend, are a true hero. You always seem to ride to the rescue when Lady Laurent and I need you most. If there's ever anything a humble manservant can do for you, you only have to ask. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, Milady has need of me. Uh, yes, yes, we're ever so grateful. Now, if you could leave us, I really do have a particular task for my manservant to take care of. Why won't you tell us what your task is? <laughs> Stibbins, come here, my manservant. All this foolishness about forgotten love has given me an itch. I am in need of a good scratch. Milady, I could never... Uh, well... If you insist. Nah, all right. Stippens is uh, finally going to get what he wants. <laughs> all right, now there's a Sky Shard up here somewhere. It's up in the castle. like something was going to attack me, but it didn't happen. All right, we're not going in there. Got to somehow get up on top of this castle. No, there's no way in there. Get up there. Maybe up this way. Aha, here we go. did it again. I hit the wrong button. I need to change that. That should fix it now. Let's try it out. There we go. Right, I think we're done here. 
Yeah, it looks like we've gotten... Oh, there's a treasure chest. Make sure there aren't any traps. says investigate the lighthouse. I guess that is the main story quest. Okay. So let's go back to the mainland and see what we can do next. We've got several quests. Who is this? Oh, can't talk to her. Okay. So we could keep going north and get to this world boss up here. Or we could go east. Um, we've got a quest to find Captain Eshmaden. And then we've got... This uh, task to investigate the lighthouse. And we've got several things over here. Um, that is in other zones. That doesn't matter. But we've got this one which we've never done. I can't ever seem to win a game of Tribute. And we've got the Lighthouse, so... I could swear we had another quest we needed to turn in. The Large Delegate. Yeah, let's go turn in the Large Delegate, do a few other things. And then we'll come out and explore more. We've accomplished a lot in this trip out to the wilderness. So it's time to go back to town. Tie up some loose ends. Says, oh, this is the daily quest. Remember, we took care of that. Um... Hmm. I don't feel the burn of sulfur in my lungs. You did it, didn't you? You managed to close one of the vents. I disrupted one of the volcanic vents. Great. You've bought us valuable time. Hopefully, we can find a more permanent solution soon. But that should at least prevent imminent molten disaster for the time being. Good. <laughs> the skies remain clear, at least for the moment. Things are quiet now, but I'll be sure to let you know if I see any more signs of the vents acting up. Um, I think I probably asked her already about this stuff. It must seem strange. Yeah, I've already the, asked her about there this, are but the fire songs. It seems like there should be another daily quest. Things are quiet, but I'm sure we'll. I mean, it's been a week since I took the quest, so. How come I can't take another daily? What sickness came unto our shores and crossed the Abishan Sea? I'm sorry, but I'm very busy. I'll get to you just as soon as I can. Uh, wait, but you have a quest marker. Right. That's settled. I hope you all have learned your lesson. Don't pay the bill to shady characters in a back room. We are in agreement. I hope this means I can have my scepter back. A good day for diplomacy, yes? <laughs> Nobody died or went to prison, and the innkeeper was paid in the end. Now, would you talk to Mary Sedlimater about my scepter of office? I think she's still a little mad at me. Yeah, I think so too, Rigger. I think so too. I think this story of her is all settled, but you should talk to Marisette Lemaitre. I would like to know that she's willing to put last night behind us. Oh, 
can't believe I drank rot meth. I can't believe you puked in front of me, Tantalin. You should talk to Marisep, we made her, and make sure we can put this whole event behind us. I can't believe I got arrested. You <laughs> can't ask much more than an honest day's work, can you? A few coins to keep a roof over my head and food in my stomach is all I need. Yeah, you said that to us last time. I admit it, I didn't expect to see you again. But your three friends finally came back to pay their bill. They even added a little extra for all the trouble. Can Rigard have his scepter of office back then? Unlike some people in this room, I remember to pay my debts when they're due. These three ninnies came back and paid what they owed. So here's the scepter. You should tell your friends to use more common sense in the future. I'm still not sure what happened here. Your friend Rigard happened. First, he bought the High Elf Rockmeth, thinking it was a taste of home for her. After that, he tried to get a sugary dessert for the orc and mistook a skooma dealer in the back room for one of my staff. And then what? The skooma dealer gave Rigard something for his friend the orc, all right. <laughs> Rigard decided that settled the bill. He came back and told the others he'd taken care of it. They were both far too drunk to sort it out. Ninnies, all of them. Ah, uh, well, glad everything worked out. My bestest friend. <laughs> Thanks to your help, I can commit diplomacy again. Everyone here will know that they have been diplomatized by Rigor the Brush. But uh, I still have no idea how things got so out of hand. <laughs> Everyone was so upset. You honestly don't understand the cause of all this trouble? Uh, diplomacy is hard work. I bought special drinks for Tanilan, but they made her sick. I ordered dessert for Olga Nash and tried to pay for dinner. Olga Nash got arrested and the innkeeper kept my scepter. Now, I'm even more confused. More confused? How? I don't know what high elves like to drink, and I'm not sure why that man gave me a bag of skooma when I wanted something for my friend Ulgonash. I only wanted him to have good time. I am stumpled. Did Marisette Lemaitre have my scepter of office? Here's your scepter, Rigor. Thank you, friend. I am official large delegate again. Just think of the great diplomatic triumphs that are sure to come because you helped me. <laughs> I do not have much gold left in purse, but what I have is yours. All right, now this is the Magicka set. This is actually, it kind of looks like a healer set. Max Magicka, Magicka Recovery. You could also use it in PvP, I guess. Another diplomatic success. <laughs> Thank you, friends. For an unforgettable night. It was certainly a, well, unique experience. <laughs> Agreed. It was unique. Let's all agree to never speak of it again. <laughs> I appreciate your help, and I hope you have the tact to never speak of what happened last night. My lips are the sealed. The Dominion frankly expects more of its diplomats than carrying on like common drunkards. Now, I need to go lie down. Is last night coming back to you now? Look, it's embarrassing enough without you rubbing it in. We drank far too much. Rigard bought me rot meth, thinking it was a taste of home and not some nasty wood elf swill. And I downed it without even looking to see what it was. Why did you keep drinking the rot meth? Because Rigard kept buying them. It's the first rule of diplomacy. Don't embarrass your host by refusing what they give you. But the second rule is don't make your guest drink like a wood elf pirate. <laughs> Evidently, Rigor didn't know that. Yeah, Rigor doesn't know a lot of stuff, I think. Thank you for helping Rigor to sort out this mess he made. The sooner we can all forget about last night's misadventures, the better. I really don't want any of my colleagues to find out I got arrested. Didn't you even look in the bag Rigor gave you? I didn't even want dessert. We'd been eating and drinking all night. And since we'd been talking about cakes earlier in the evening, Rigor must have thought I had a sweet tooth. I was even more surprised than the guard when he found the skooma. Why did the guard stop you? Uh, it wasn't my finest hour. I uh, may have relieved myself against a building along the way. 
And when the guard spoke sharply to me about that, I argued back at him. You know the rest of the tale. Oh, man. What an adventure! I'm sure King Yoren would be proud of the diplomacy I have committed today. I don't know about Thank that. Thank you again, friend. Without your help, my scepter of office would still be missing. What are you going to do now? Hmm. I have spent all my advance for travel expenses and diplomatic entertaining. No matter. I am happy to diplomatize High Isle for free. <laughs> Whatever else happens, they are sure to remember Rigor the Brush. You better hope they don't remember it, man. <laughs> uh, you don't want them to remember you this way. I'm just gonna check in here. Uh, this is just, I think we've looked at this before, and it's just stuff you can steal. I think I'm going to try again to win a game of Tales of Tribute. There are apparently four quests to the storyline to the game. So we could get past this first one. Then we just have three more to go. We could spread them out over the course of the uh, course of the walkthrough. Because I do want to finish all of these Tales of Tribute quests and play through the story to it. Oh, I went the wrong way, I think. You have to go up a different stairway? Um, yeah. Through here? No. Over here. Alright, that's it for this episode. In the next episode, I will try once again to win a game of Tales of Tribute and finish this quest. I'm probably just going to show highlights, and then I'll move on to something else, but that's what I'll do next. Thanks for watching. See you next time.